a customer came to the store. She had just left the hospital after giving birth to her first child. And the first thing that she wanted more than anything else, more than a shower, more than going to the bathroom, more than anything was getting ice cream. I mean, how awesome is that? <laughs> you know, we're, we're super lucky to have such a fan base that people love being here. For me, the handle story started probably back around 1959. So I would have been about 10 years old. And we had a little ice cream store, Handles, that was located in an alley behind a record shop where we spent our days in blue jeans and t-shirts playing ball until night. And we would go to Handles to celebrate any type of victory. So it could be basketball, baseball, football. And we would also go there to celebrate losses as well. It really didn't matter. It was just a destination. So Handles always had a special place in our family. When I retired for the first of what turned out to be about four times from my core business, I had the desire to open up an ice cream store. I then heard many years later that Alice Handel sold the business to this young man. And so I approached him about opening up a store and helping him establish a franchise arrangement, which we did. Ice cream is happy business. That is one of the best parts about the job is that Everyone wants to be your friend or is willing to have a conversation to become your friend. When we first opened up, it was hard. I mean, opening a new business is challenging, it's exciting, it's nervous. I had just gotten out of college and so I had plenty of energy and I wanted to do, to help my dad out. He wanted to start this business and I was at the right opportune time to do it. And then I fell in love. Haley, who is my partner in crime now, was 14 when she started working. So she grew up with the business quite literally. That was her first job and has had it ever since. So it's been a delight seeing people like her grow, mature, become married, having kids, having careers, being wildly successful, wanting to come back and work more, you know, just being a part of the fabric of their life and who they became was a product of what they did with us, and so that's special. A lot of people don't realize that there are a lot of handles in the country. I have often many people come up to the window and think this is the only handles out there, and it's special that way. We are a family-run business, and I want it to have that feeling on the inside of the window and then also on the outside of the window. We have been a community for the employees inside, and then also all the community outside. The employees here have us come to all of their events. They have us come to their family parties, their graduations, anything that they feel proud of, they want us to be there. That is really special to us. We are so lucky to be moving. It's been a long time coming. There have been rumors <laughs> for the last couple years. But that being said though, it's happening. And we're just going across the street not very far, literally across Route 30. And it's the old ice house, which is just fun in itself. Like everything, there are certain challenges with moving, but the end all be all is that this is the best choice for us, for the community, for handles to continue to grow and for us to best serve you. What made this move possible and as smooth as can be has been the relationship that we've had with Ida Enterprises, especially Mike and Stacy. Uh, they've just been outstanding to work with, to be able to rely on somebody and to know that they trust you and that we trust them and they're all working. Each other, making Berwin better, is a perfect formula. I loved ice cream and I love good ice cream. So that's always been the case. And although it, some people may have some doubts about my sincerity, but I really didn't go into it to make money. I didn't want to lose money, but I didn't do it to make money. And to this day, I'm still charmed in the evening when I see families with wagons and bikes and elderly people with walkers, like I now depend on, going to and from the store because I know that Handles was their destination.